Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. We have been away for some time. We were in Pennsylvania uh, for about a month. Uh, Betsy donated a, a kidney to her uncle. Uh, bless her heart for doing that. It, it was such an amazing thing to be able to do. And she did it just out of her uh, just pure heart and, and love to for her uncle. Uh, so that was a blessing, uh, but she uh, this had to spend some time recovering, and we just haven't been able to get back to the land. Uh, we finally made it, and we're going to be working on installing insulation for our subfloor. We're actually going to be doing something. I think it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to install uh, rigid foam on top of the subfloor and then install another layer of Advantech subflooring on top of it. Uh, it's a little bit uh, expensive to do because you have to do two subfloors, but I think it's gonna be so much better. It'll give us a brand new floor uh, that is already going to be dry. The cabin is completely dry at this point uh, since we put the sheeting on the roof and we're not getting any water inside then it's gonna make a nice subfloor uh, so that we'll eventually when we install the regular floor, then it'll be nice and, and flat, it'll be clean, and, and I think it'll work out well. We did get a septic tank installed. We had uh, JIS trucking and grading install a septic for us. Uh, it was one of those things that, because the little bit of uh, the setback or us being away, uh, I was just not gonna have time to uh, install it myself so we figured we would just get the company to do it and they already know how to do it uh, they do it all the time so i didn't have to mess with that uh, it's in the ground it already passed inspection we're ready to go we just need to install it uh, or, or connect it to the cabin and hopefully we can do that in the next few uh, days or, or or weeks that way we can have a shower have a, a toilet a sink and be able to have running water in the cabin and that'll make it so much uh, nicer so we can't wait for that but right now we're super happy that we have the septic and now we just have a few little things here and there that we gotta uh, keep doing this is a uh, rigid foam by uh, dupont styrofoam and this is a uh, two inch thick so it gives us an r value of 10 and this is just the rigid foam so we're getting r10 with just the rigid foam and then if we decide to put additional insulation underneath then we'll get even higher r value
going to use this 5 inch uh, deck mate. Uh, these are like for exterior uh, building decks. Uh, and the reason that I'm going for 5 inch is because I want this to go all the way to the stud. Because uh, remember I have 2 inch foam. So with this it'll go all the way to the bottom. It'll secure it really nice. Hopefully no squeaking. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So this is what we ended up for our subfloor. So initially we had one layer of uh, Advantech subflooring and then we added the two inch piece of foam, the rigid foam from DuPont, uh, which is an R value of 10. And then we added another subfloor on top of it, same thing, Advantech subflooring. But with this, it actually gives us some insulation uh, the floor feels so much nicer now. It's a little bit warmer uh, and it just much cleaner since remember the initial subfloor got tons of water, got snow, and it actually still still held really good. Like if you look at the floor, this actually, we didn't have to do this. Like this would have been fine if we would have put our flooring on top of it and it would have been fine. But we did want to explore trying a rigid foam on top of it and we were thinking that we're going to add additional insulation underneath because we i believe the by code you need r30 on the subfloor uh, i still need to confirm that so we may be adding more insulation underneath but at least with this this was a very quick simple way of adding insulation getting a nice level floor on top of it and we're super happy with it. We'll see how it goes with time.